Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on my episode 2 runway, Goddesses of the Ancient World. So watch me go from this to this. So I've already done my brows off camera and let's get right into the eyes. For today's look, we're gonna be doing a full cut crease. I'm gonna be using a lot of warm, earthy tones and a lot of gold to go with my goddess. I'm gonna start off by using a flat brush. I'm gonna use a deep brown to trace my crease. So I'm going to start in the inner corner and trace it and wing it up. And I'm gonna go a little bit above my eyes so that I can make my eyes look a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to wing it upwards. Now that I've traced my crease, I'm going to take a small little fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna use a lighter brown and I'm going to blend out that deeper brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna be very careful with how I'm placing this eyeshadow. I want the lighter brown to create a gradient going into the deeper brown so that it creates a nice little shadow effect. Then using a clean blending brush, I'm just gonna blend the two shades together, blend out those edges so that it's all nice and blended. So now that I have my crease traced out and fully blended, I'm now gonna cut my crease using some concealer and a flat brush. Starting in the inner corner and I'm just gonna clean up that line and wing it upwards to lift my eyes. Now using a flat brush, I'm going to use a kind of champagne gold eyeshadow and set that concealer. All right, so now I've just moisturized my face and I'm ready to apply my base. So this week's runway was Goddesses of the Ancient World. And for my goddess, I picked the goddess Oshun, who is the goddess of beauty and vanity. And she's often pictured holding a mirror. So I thought, why not take this to the next level and have mirrors all over my outfit, girl. I can't get enough myself. My look was designed by Eve 6000, and it was actually made by Suki Doll. Let's get into the episode now, because we've got a lot to talk about. For this week's Maxi Challenge, we were award show presenters at the prestigious award show, the Who Knows. Shella Zahn won the mini challenge, and she got to pair everyone together, and she put me and Kimmy together. You know, I thought that was very shady because me and Kimmy, you know, we're like the pretty girls. Not everybody expects the pretty girls to be funny, and this is a comedy challenge. So me and Kimmy were very nervous for this challenge. You know, and Shella Zahn said she wasn't being shady. She said she just put us together because we're friends, but like, Girl, come on. Me and Kimmy were paired together and we had to come up with our jokes. And Kimmy's really funny, like naturally, like on her own without trying. But when it comes to writing jokes, a lot of the jokes that Kimmy was telling me, I did not feel like they were very funny. I have a bit more experience with writing jokes. I've taken a few workshops in the past. I kind of know how a joke needs to be structured in order for it to land. She kind of thought like that you can just say things in a funny way and it'll come off like funny, but that was making me nervous because like, what if the judges don't read it the same way? Like, there needs to be some kind of structure to a joke there. You can't just like say, things off the top of your head and expect them to be funny. So yes, I was getting very nervous. I really wanted to do well this challenge because I was just in the bottom the week before. I had a lot to prove, but I love Kimmy. She is my girl. We might have fought a little bit, but at the end of the day, we are still sisters and nothing's gonna change that. Kimmy was also making me very nervous because when we were practicing, she was not giving a lot of energy, so I thought we were gonna show up on stage and she was gonna deliver the lines the same way. So I was getting so stressed out. I was like, girl, I'm gonna be at the bottom again. So while we were supposed to be practicing, Kimmy was practicing her lip syncs. So I'm like, she's already giving up. Like, she thinks we're gonna be in the bottom together. She's not focusing on 
this challenge. She just wants to nail this lip sync. I was also feeling a little intimidated because there are a lot of funny girls this season. So we had some tough competition. We also were against Jada and Miss Mosu who have hosted so many shows together in Toronto. And I've been to their show, I've like performed with them, I know how funny they are on the mic, so we were expecting them to do very well. And then it was time for the award show. Me and Kimmy were near the end as presenters, so we were watching everybody go before us. And one by one, as the queens were coming along, all of these queens who are like, supposed to be these like hilarious comedy queens like they weren't doing that well and I knew that me and Kimmy had like some pretty funny jokes so I was like I started feeling more and more confident as like each each award went by because so I was like Kimmy like we might win this who would have thought the two pretty girls are the comedy queens you know Miss Mosu and Jada went up and their jokes did not land at all they were messing up they forgot their lines it was not cute. And then it was me and Kimmy's turn, and we were feeling really good, because up until then, nobody had really delivered. So we got up there, did our routine, and all of our jokes were landing. Me and Kimmy were feeling so confident, and yeah, I was very happy with the results, the outcome. Who would have thought that me and Kimmy are comedy queens? And then it came time for the runway, they loved my runway, obviously, it was gorgeous. Finally, an outfit I didn't have to make. And I was in the top this week, and my sis Kimmy won the challenge. I'm so happy for her. Um, Kimmy was also so funny when we were up on stage for deliberation. It's like, just the way Kimmy talks, like, she is one of the funniest people I've ever met in my whole life. I love her so much. Unfortunately, Mosu and Jada were in the bottom, and then, Mosu and Jada had to lip sync together, which honestly was making me so emotional. Like, I was tearing up in the background because I know how, like, close Jada and Mosu are and having to see them compete against each other made me really sad because I knew that at this point, like, some one of my friends is going to be going home. So, I was a little bit upset, but it's a competition. It's what we all signed up for. I'm going to go in with a cream blush now on my cheeks. Also, myself and a few of the girls have been getting a lot of hate online. Some of you guys need to just remember that this is a TV show. Just watch the TV show. You don't have to like everyone. If you don't like somebody, you don't have to go out of your way to go on their page, tag them, send them messages, send them death threats. Just live, live in your own lane. Let them live in their own lane. You're going to affect people negatively. Like, you're not being any better by going on someone's page and sending so much hate. Like, we are all sisters at the end of the day. We all love each other. And there's no need for the fans to have to come and attack any of us. All right, so I've blended out all my creams. Now I'm going to set everything with powder. Also, my outfit was so heavy. Like, Suki doll made my outfit so complicated. I mean, to be fair, it's what I asked for, but she made it in a very complicated way, and my outfit was very heavy, so when I walked on the runway, I was walking very slow. I mean, I was trying to, like, make it work with my goddess, because she's very ethereal, so I felt like that could work with my movements. Brushing off all the excess powder. So if there's any steps that I'm not explaining, it's probably because I've explained them in my other videos, so you can go back and watch all my beautiful tutorials. Now I'm going to use a powder foundation and emphasize my highlights. I know I said I was gonna do more than just like pretty glam makeup tutorials, and that's all I've done like so far, but that's that's just because how like the runways played out, but trust me, next week is gonna be completely different. Next week's look, you're gonna get something that you would never expect from me. Now I'm going to bronze my forehead, my cheeks, and my jawline. Now I'm going to deepen my contour using a darker shade just behind my cheekbones. Now I'm going to go in with an orange blush. Since I'm using a lot of very warm, earthy tones, I'm going to stick with that color palette. Now I'm going to use a cool shade and I'm going to contour my nose. 
I'm not gonna use a warm shade on my nose because for your nose contour, you're trying to create a shadow and typically shadows are cooler colors. If you use a warm color, it's just gonna attract more attention to your nose contour, which we do not want. We want to look nice and subtle, just like a very faint shadow, like it's not even there. Now for my highlight, I'm gonna go in with a gold highlighter. I'm gonna apply this on top of my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna go in with a lighter highlighter shade and I'm just gonna create some dimension in my highlight. I'm just gonna apply this on the high points of my cheeks. I don't wanna take away from the gold, so I'm only gonna apply a small amount. Now using a very small brush, I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose with an exclamation point. Now I'm going to go back to the eyes and add some glitter. So on the show I used a gold glitter, but I let Jada use my glitter and she used all of it. So I'm going to use a champagne glitter instead. It still kind of goes with the same color palette. So I'm going to use some Lush glue and just apply that on my lid. I'm going to let it dry a bit, let it get tacky so that I can then apply my glitter. When you have glue on your lids, you kind of want to angle your face like this so that you're not closing your lids, otherwise your lids are going to get glued shut. I'm going to lightly apply this glitter onto my eyelid. Now I'm going to do my liner. So I'm going to start off by winging out the outer corner, following that shape with the crease that I've done with the crease going upwards. And then going from my inner corner, I'm gonna connect that to my liner. I'm also gonna extend my inner corner a little bit. I finished my liner, now I'm gonna go back and complete my under eyes using a very small, flat little eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take a bit of that light brown eyeshadow, tap off the excess, and I'm going to fill in my under eye. Now I'm gonna use a white liner and I'm going to extend my inner corners right below where I placed that black liner. I'm also gonna apply that white liner in my waterline. Okay, now I'm gonna take my mascara and apply that to my lashes to help it blend in with my false lashes. So now I'm going to complete the lips. I'm gonna start off by overlining with a dark brown shade. So now that I've overlined, I'm going to go in with a lighter brown and I'm going to fill in my lips. Now that I've applied my lipstick, I'm going to go in with a gloss on top that has some gold glitter in it just to go with the whole gold theme. So I've applied my lashes off camera and now I'm going to apply some gold flakes all over my body. So this is a trick that I actually learned from Suki Doll, who also made my outfit. So I'm going to take a glue stick and I'm going to apply it just like in certain areas of my body where I want to apply the gold. Just like randomly all over my body, my chest, my arms. In the areas that I've applied the glue, I'm going to take these gold leaves, flakes, things, and I'm going to pat them onto those areas. And then I'm just going to rub them off and they're they just like stick to your skin very nicely. Now all the areas where I've applied the gold flakes, I'm just going to rub them off so that they don't I'm just hanging off my body. Okay, now that I've applied all the gold flakes all over my body, I'll be back in just a moment with the completed look. Thank you guys for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on my gorgeous goddesses of the ancient world runway. Tune into my YouTube channel every single week for makeup tutorials on all of my runways for this season of Canada's Drag Race season three. Let me know what you guys thought of the episode in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay fierce.